Welcome back! It's me again! It's Teacher Liza! So today, we are going to continue with the organs in our body. Last time, we learned the parts of the body. So now, we are going to discuss the organs in our body that are necessary to survive. Alright? So before we do that, First, we have to sing a good morning song. Are you ready to sing with me? Yeah! Right, let's sing. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear pupils. Good morning to you. Great. Great job, everybody. So before we continue, I want we also to learn what are the days of the week. So we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And of course, the days of the week has a song as well. Okay? I want we all to sing the days of the week. Are you ready? Okay, let's sing. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, the day I love the best. Again, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, the day I love the best. Great job, everyone. Good. And of course, we also have to learn what is the weather today. Is it sunny, windy, stormy, snowy, hmm. rainy, hmm. foggy, cold, and hot? Well, in my place now, the weather is, it's hot. As usual, it's really, really hot. And with this, because Teacher Liza will be a doctor today, yes. or a scientist, it's really, really hot to wear a, a lab gown. Alright, but anyway, that's alright. I also would be needing my glasses. <laughs> okay, so are you now ready? to learn the organs of the body. We are not going to learn any letter of the day or number of the day or shape of the day. We are going to focus on our organs or the parts of the body. If you remember, we have here Mr. Bones. Hi, Mr. Bones. And Mr. Bones is left with just the ears and his nose. Okay. So what are the parts of the body? We'll know that already. But I mean, what are the organs that are in the body? Let's start at the topmost part of the head. The first part of the body or the organ of the body is... The first one is the brain, okay? Inside your head is your brain. So we put the brain at the topmost part of our head. So that is the brain. Now what is the function of the brain? The brain is more or less the, the everything of our body. It controls most of the organs in our body. Okay, so we need a healthy brain in order for us to be of good mindset and of course, good health. Alright? Okay, so next is, of course, another organ necessary is the organ of our eyes. The eyes, our eyesight. Okay, so we have actually, how many eyes do we have? There are two organs i mean the eyes there are eyes we have two eyes okay of course we have our nose we already know that one 
Now, let's go to the parts over here. So, this is the ribs, the rib cage that protects the. What does it protect? The lungs. Alright, so this is your lungs. What is the function of the lungs, teacher Liza? The lungs is the organ that helps us breathe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. All right. And then in the lungs comes our heart. And the heart beats like this. Okay, so this is our heart. And the heart is normally located at the right side. I'm not mistaken. The left side, rather. The left side, almost a bit closer to the liver on the left. No, I mean the lungs on the left side. And do you know the size of your heart? They say that the size of our hearts is the same size as our fist. So if you squeeze your hands, this is the size of my heart. There. All right? Now, let's continue. Then, we move on down. We have our stomach. So, when we eat, the food goes in our stomach. So, what is the function of the stomach? The stomach is where it stores the food, the food that we eat for at least two hours or longer. Okay? Then we also have the liver. If I'm not mistaken, the liver is located somewhere here. Okay, what is the function of the liver? The liver also helps out in the production of bile that is needed for digestion. Okay? And of course, we also have also a very important kidneys there are two we have two kidneys one and two and what is the function of the kidneys teacher liza the kidneys are necessary for the cleansing of okay so the function of the kidney is to manage the waste and cleanse the things that goes inside our body, which is from the stomach. Alright, so we have two kidneys, one and two. And of course, we also have a very tiny one, it's the gallbladder. What does the gallbladder function? The gallbladder also functions the bile excreted from the liver, which is also necessary for the breakdown of the food that we eat. Okay? A bladder, gallbladder is actually really, really small. And then, the next organ is the pancreas. So, I don't know. I think the pancreas is located somewhere here. What is the function of a pancreas? So, the function of the pancreas is to convert the food that we eat into fuel for the body cells. Okay? So, that's why when we don't eat, we feel very tired. We feel very, like, very lethargic. So, the pancreas helps to break down all those food in our tummy and turn them into fuel. Not fuel for our motorcycle or car, but fuel for our body, to fuel our body cells. So that we keep moving and moving and moving, okay? That's the role of the pancreas. And then, don't forget that the food that we eat goes into the small intestine which is again another organ so from the stomach the food goes to the small intestine 
So the function of the small intestine is primarily on digestion and the absorption of nutrients and vitamins that we eat. Okay? So the small intestine are the organs that are necessary for us to get all the nutrients needed for our body. And as the food goes from the stomach, so if the stomach actually contracts, it relaxes, contracts, and then it goes to the small intestine, and the food goes to the large intestine. So there is also a, if there's a small intestine, then there is a large intestine. So what is the function of the large intestine, teacher Liza? The large intestine is function its function is also for the absorption of water and electrolytes. You have noticed that when you have a bad stomach ugh, and you keep on pooping and pooping, it's not actually really good because we lost so much water and we become dehydrated. So the so the large intestine is the one, the organ that keeps the water within our body because we, our body is, I forgot how many percent water. Organ that absorbs water, retains water, and produces electrolytes in our body. And it also is where the food, the waste, we mean the food that's already been been digested and all the waste go into the large intestine and it is the muscle that puts the waste out of the body and goes in our bum bum okay and it goes out as a poop right yeah. so that is the large intestine we also have another organ that is located in the abdomen i'm not sure if it's located somewhere here this one is the bladder. The bladder is the bladder's function is it it is where the urine is being stored. So it's actually a size of a pear, so it's smaller. And once it once it expands, it means there's plenty of urine in it, and that's why you feel oh you need to pee because the bladder is full. Then you go to the toilet and you Okay, all right. And the last organ of our body is this one. What do you call this organ, teacher Liza? This is the skin. Okay, this is just a representation of the organ, the skin. So I'm just gonna put the skin over here. But to reflect the skin, take up your arms and try to pull it as much as you can. That is our skin. I have even the skin on my face, alright? That is the skin. The skin. We have skin everywhere. So the skin is actually the largest organ in our body. But Mr. Bones in here don't have any skin. We skinned him. <laughs> okay? So the skin is also an organ. Alright? So I hope that I've tried my very best to be a doctor today. But I'm not a doctor. I'm just a teacher. Alright? So we have the brain and we have the eyes. The lungs and the heart. Boop, 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 boop. Then we have the liver, the stomach, the large intestine, small intestine. Then we have at the back the two kidneys, the pancreas, the bladder, and the gallbladder to produce bile. Then we also have, what else? What did we miss? Um, yes, so those are the organs of our body. So these are the organs of the body. Okay, so now you know. And I hope you learned a lot today with Teacher Liza. Teacher Liza pretends to be a doctor. So thank you very much for listening. I will see you again next time for our next lesson. 
Okay? Bye-bye. Say bye-bye to Mr. Bones. Bye-bye. Okay, hi. Hello, Mr. Bones. Oh, Mr. Bones will give me a hug. Okay. Right, Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones loves me. Okay? Bye-bye, everyone. See you next time.